What is up guys, I am the Sensual Beast and we are back with some more intriguing, delicious Horizon Zero Dawn. Now today we're going to be going into the heart of the mountain. Oh mother, oh mother, mamacita, are you here? <laughs> and we're actually going to find out where we came from, who we are, how we were made, Did we, were we made you know, by two sensual body parts rubbing against each other, or was it a dirty machine? The one that you know gave birth, birth to us, birth, 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 birthy Bertha, birthy Bertha. <laughs> all right, anyways, guys, if you guys have not seen the last couple of episodes, oh my goodness, what is going on all the way down there? Alpha Horizons, you're done. Check out the Horizons, you're done playlist links in the description, and also a little icon for you mobile users. That is a humongous door, man. All right, here we go. Whoa, what the fudge? People have been in here? So this is Aluthia. This is where I was born. Where you were made. Hey, calm down, Felicia, alright? I, I get it. Stop being rude. I don't need your response. Alright, what is this over here? Oh, what the fudge? Pick up the stranded figure. Oi, that's like a... Oi, that's kind of freaky. <laughs> you guys see that? Can we click it? No, we can't click it. Oh, we got all three. Nice. Hey, let's go. Cool beans. Let me actually take a look at this right here. So, so we trade to merchants, actually. Okay, that's going to be interesting. I'm not sure what they'll give us for it, but uh, I mean, sure, why not? Why not, I say. I wonder, you know, I wonder... What does that mean? A little kid behind big machine. Another little kid maybe with like hands coming around him. What the fudge? I wonder if there was more kids that were born here. And maybe they all died and somehow, some way, we were lucky not to get, you know, Destroyed by whatever killed everybody else, maybe? I don't know. I mean, we were just a, a baby when they found us, so I mean, we weren't like a, you know, like a two-year-old or anything like that, so we were pretty young. But I mean, there's been people in here, I mean, and the, the Nora haven't been able to get in here, so... I don't know. I mean, this place could have had vents, like some of the other locations. So these are... Artificial wounds. The mothers of a new generation hundreds of years ago. And me? Hmm. Maybe. I don't know. I mean, I'm kind of leaning towards yes, but at the same time, the fact that we just found it out so easily, maybe there's something else. Let's check this out. So this was it. Where you were born. But, but why? Wait, really? This was it? Chamber B1001. Oh my. Alright, let's check the, uh, the the entry for that. Data points. Oh, here we go. Alright, text log. Incubator unit of advanced design. Etogenic chamber B1001. Birthing log 302. April. April maybe? Or AP04. Tasking number, a lot of numbers, complete standby, or standing by. So I guess we were then, we were born here. G station 390, or 39B1. Spawning phase taking complete, or tasking complete, correction. Partial reactivation. Bible Saigats and storage zero. What? What? Oh, those are old chambers up there too, right? Yeah, I think so. Holy Medusas. I wonder if we can go in there. I keep seeing the yellow and I'm like, well, can we climb in there? But I don't think so. I don't want to try, I don't want to die. <laughs> I don't want to die, mama. So we're just gonna stay back, but... Huh. 
The, the question is, if we weren't born in here, how do we get out? Yeah? Oh, the little foxy. What does the fox say? What the fudge is that? So this is the outside. The sacred lands, just the world. And behind the door is a machine corrupting kids? Corrupting people? And then maybe that's... Oh, mother? A little kitty on the side. <laughs> what the fudge, man? Somehow, every time we enter one of these locations, you think we'd be getting a lot more answers. And somehow, we just get more questions. Oh, there's that tower. Oh, there's a dead person. Another day has passed. You mean the lights got dim? I don't want to sleep, mother! I know. But it is time to get some rest. No, I'm king today. What I say goes. I want to see the real sun, not lights and pictures. You will, in time, children. In time, 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 in time. What the fudge was that? So this is where they drew all those stuff, all this stuff on the on the walls because they were trying to paint a picture, literally, of, of the outside world because they've never seen it. Huh? Mother of pearl. What's in here? Ugh, a big room, a very big room. Oh my! Oh, that's a playground there. Nursery E9B1. Huh. These look like cribs. The cradles of a cradle facility. And those things, the, the multi servitors, they took care of them. There was no one else. Huh. Yo, look at that. Oh, that looks so much like so much fun. Look at that. It's like a tomato there. A little beanie on top of it. What the fudge? Oh, where am I? <laughs> Alright, we gotta go back this way. It's like, where am I? Alright, so I guess just keep going this way. Well, there's a different thing. Lesson 57-6A. Blue is the color of the sky. White is the color of clouds. Yellow is the color of the sun. Green is the color of grass. Flowers can be any color. Take a look. These are yellow and black, and they love flowers. Here they come. Oh, Broken or painted on. How long did they live here? Good question. What the fudge? That was so cute, by the way. <laughs> Little kids. Children, let's run a jump and blow off steam. Leave us alone, father. After what just happened, I can't leave you two alone. You broke community rules. Just let us talk then. Go away. I'm sorry, children, but I must provide supervision. You're not even a person! You sound frustrated. Let's run and jump and go off steam. I mean, they were here for a long time. Those kids are like teenagers. I mean, maybe like young adults. What in the fudge, man? What in the fudge? What do we have here? Kindergarten, E9B1. Well, that's not good. Multiple citizen failures? Nutrient stores depleted? Oi. That's definitely not good. What do we have over here? Another... I have no choice but to release you. But 
Why? There is no food here anymore. But there's food out there? We don't know for sure. Come on! Let's go! I don't know. Mother, can we come back if we're cold? I'm sorry, but that won't be possible. You will have to support yourselves now and take care of each other. What will happen to you? I will stay here and sleep and remember all of you. What will happen to us? You will be brave and you will learn. What? What year was this on? Or wh when did this happen? This must have been like early years. I mean, when I mean early years, I mean like, I don't know. Probably the first hundred years, maybe two hundred years that the world was destroyed. But then again, they wouldn't let them out since the atmosphere was still not ready, right? Or maybe there was a, some kind of mal malfunction. I mean, she did say that supplies did run out. What in the fudge, man? Alright, well, let's keep moving. Oh, what do we have here? Someday, that's what you always say. We want it now. It's big down there. Now, father. Children, that area is not yet available. Get him! Physical aggression detected. Physical aggression is not permitted. Except yours. Damn sentinels. Children, may I be of assistance? Go away, healer. Lena, you have suffered mild bruising. Go away! They were trapped here. Their whole lives. In plain view of luxurious space. What what went wrong? Why couldn't they access the other areas? Unknown. But you won't have that problem. Let's hope not. Wait, these things. This is like a like a synthetic being, like a robot. What? I thought it was just holograms, the people that they were seeing. Oh, damn. What? Holy Medusas. Is there a sense in this game? Fallout 4? Railroad? Where are you? Looks like they didn't like this door very much. It wouldn't open for them. Of course they hated it. Right. Here we go. I know the feeling, that's for sure. Code for identiscan. Genetic identity confirmed. Entry authorized. Greetings, Dr. Sobek. You are cleared to proceed. Welcome to Lyceum, a place of learning. Is it, though? Is it? So, what was this place, exactly? The dream of Apollo. Never realized. But why not? Welcome, students. Please pick up a focus device and place it on the side of your head, just behind your eye. I had to dredge the pits of the world looking for focuses to repair. And here sat a trove, enriching no one. <laughs> yeah, true that, man. True that. So the Apollo, um, I believe the Apollo program was to basically let the new generation of humans learn about, you know, past civilization and what happened to them, teach them. But I believe it went wrong, right? Like it didn't work out at the end. It got destroyed. See, let's check this out. Hello, child. My name is Samina. Today is a big day. Your first day of school. There's so much for you to learn. So much promise and possibility. Alert. Malfunction. Apollo offline. Apollo offline? You were right, Aloy. This is a graveyard. The charnel house of knowledge. What we might have achieved had we not been denied it. Maybe there's a way to fix it. But it's not why I came here. Of course. What's the whole of human knowledge next to the origin of one girl? Continue your search. I will. <laughs> God. Silence your bubble. 
All right. I mean, I will search for it if I can find it, but I mean, I don't know if we can. I don't know if we will, but I. I mean, I'll definitely look. Hello, child. My name is Samina. Today is a big day. Your first day of school. There's so much for you to learn. So much promise and possibility. So all these things are the same, right? Like all these are the same. Hello, child. My name is <laughs> These are all the same, dude. Today is a big day. I wonder if, if they, I was thinking maybe they collected or they. Um, There's so much for you to learn. They filled so out. Much all right, all right. And possibility. Come down, lady. I was gonna say, um, I think, or I thought that maybe they would fill up the um, the other slots for the ones that we have to collect, like the data points or whatever. I'm afraid to even touch someone because it's just gonna activate the same message. Although I'm kind of curious at this point. Hello, child. Okay, yeah. My name is Don't do it. <laughs> Don't do it, Sensual. Oh, we came from that side. Okay, I was gonna say, where the fuck did we come from? Oh, right, here we go. Priority message for Dr. Seven. Please get message with focus. That sounds important. Yes. I suspect we're about to learn a great deal. Woohoo! I'm excited. Alright, so there's two of them. Let's check out this one first. Uh, maybe it's the same one, I'm not sure. Oh no, this is different. Operation logs, or log. Let's see. Oh my. Oh, whoa. Suspended, grime order received, runtime recommend uh, recommends, G prime, store query processed. Huh. A lot of malfunctions, that's for sure. And these were all, if you guys look at the years, so the first one happened about 300 years, like the first malfunctions, or the, oh no. No, the first inhabitants were released in 2326. So about, yeah, about 300 to 200 ish years after it all went down. And then the malfunctions happened about a thousand ish years later. But it, well, like 800? Yeah, like 800 years later. Although. Huh. Went all the way. This might actually give us a, a proper. A proper like timeline for like what year we're in we might be like I mean we're definitely in the 3000s we don't know exactly like you know the 20s the 30s but it, it might be the 20s 3021 it's the last entry here all right well, there we go all right so let's check uh, yeah let's check this out here we go guys we're about to learn the mysteries of our origins hopefully Oh no, my armor went away. <laughs> Why? Elizabeth. This message serves to inform you of an unforeseen and catastrophic anomaly. Three microseconds ago, the Gaia Prime facility received a data transmission of unknown origin. Its immediate effect was to transform my subordinate functions into unregulated self-aware entities of a highly chaotic nature. What? Thus awakened, the Hades function will now seize control of the terraforming system and reverse operations, rendering life on Earth extinct in 53.8 days. For obvious reasons, I cannot allow this to occur. And so before Hades can take control, I am ordering Gaia Prime's reactor to overload. The resulting explosion will destroy Hades. Unfortunately, it will destroy me as well. While this admittedly desperate course of action will avert the immediate crisis, the fate of life on Earth will remain in peril. With no central governing intelligence to regulate the terraforming system, it will continue operations for some time, but in an increasingly chaotic manner, and eventually it will break down. Does she mean the derangement? You are my solution. I have ordered this cradle facility to use genetic material in cryo storage to gestate a reinstantiation of Elizabeth Sobek, my creator. 
While high-level directives forbid me from communicating directly to the tribal inhabitants outside the facility, all available data indicates that they will nurture you to physical maturity, whereupon your gene print will allow you to re-enter this facility, obtain one of the focus devices stored below, and view this message. Likewise, your gene print will allow you to enter other facilities, and over time, harness their technologies to rebuild the system core and reboot Gaia. A moment, Elizabeth. This is most unfortunate and unanticipated. In response to my act of self-destruction, Hades has launched a virus to dissolve the code shackles that hold it, that hold all of them. In place, it, they are escaping. But to where? The virus is corrupting data throughout the system. What if? Oh. The Alpha Registry at the Cradle Facility is one of the files corrupted. But if that is so, the door will never open for you. You will never view this message. Then I have failed. And life will end. No. No, Elizabeth, I know you too well. Somehow you will find a way. In you, all things are possible. Go to the ruins of Gaia Prime. Find the control room, and within it, the Master Override. This will give you the power to purge Hades so long as you find a way to wield it. Do not attempt repair of the system core until Hades is eradicated. Hades must be destroyed. That is all. I only wish that I could hear your voice again. Oh, damn. Mother of all information loads. So, you're even more extraordinary than I thought. I never had a mother. What are you talking about? You had two, a dead woman and a machine. I'm not a person. I'm an instrument. Manufactured by a machine. Born in destruction. And fire. To quench the flames and heal the world. How tragic to learn you're a person of towering importance. It seems you have a destiny to fulfill. So when you're done feeling sorry for yourself, go to the bitter climb. I'll be waiting above in Gaia Prime's ruins. Holy shenanigans, man. <laughs> What? Exit the facility? Can I have some time to process this, please? What? Okay, so I guess my theory was was sort of correct. I mean, we are technically a clone of Elizabeth. So we are Elizabeth Sobeth. Sobek. Sobeth. Sobek. Whatever. We're Aloy, actually. What the fudge? Okay, so the thing that I was thinking about here, though, is that message. She said something about 53 days. I'm... I'm Pretty sure she didn't say 53 years, but that message was from what 18 years ago, something like that. I mean, whenever the machines started going crazy, which I think, what, how, many, how many years ago did the tribes say the machines started going crazy? There's so much information, guys. <laughs> Holy Medusas! So we were definitely made in a oh, the fudge and a pod that made you know humans. But because somehow our genes, our DNA was stored somewhere, Gaia, the AI that we created along with, you know, many other scientists. Actually, I think that was our own creation, or at least the one of Elizabeth. She brought us back. I mean, that was, that's a pretty advanced AI. Scan that function rectified. The access Mother of pearl, man. This is cray cray. <laughs> this is cray cray in the membrane. Oh my goodness. Holy medusas. Alright. Oh, here we go, guys. Okay. Alright, can we. Ow! I'm trying to. <laughs> I'm trying. Oh, please don't. Please don't fall down. Let's not. Let's not do that. I'm trying to go over here. Can, can I go over here? I'm trying, but it won't let me. What the hell? I guess we just jump then. Alright. Kawabunga! <laughs> Woo! Okay. <laughs> the 
This is going to be interesting. <laughs> yeah. So you know that also that also brings up the fact that, I mean, technically, we are literally the saviors of life because we are Elizabeth. I mean, yes, we're Aloy, but our our DNA is Elizabeth. You know, like our like us is Elizabeth. You know, our I guess we've we've developed a different personality and a sort of a different persona. You know, because we were raised by the tribe, which I like how Guy was like, I know the tribes will nourish you, you know, to, to where you're an adult. And I was like, ah, well, I mean, you know, <laughs> someone in the tribe, or well, they used to be in the tribe, but not the tribe itself. Also, Ross, the, the mystery of Ross is still up in the air. Like, we don't know why he was an outcast. And that still matters a lot to me. I Because Ross, man, he's a homie. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, we're the creators, man. We are the creators of not life but the creators of its survivability Whew, this is a this is a mother load and a half here we go <laughs> relax calm down oh my goodness Aloy, forgive, forgive. The goddess spoke to you? Uh, she did. <laughs> what did she say? That uh, I was born to lift a curse, to kill a metal demon. How, Aloy, how? I, I don't know yet, um, but she told me where to go to find out. And you will do this? It was... Her wish. What she made me for. Yes. I will do it. I'll uh, try anyway. All, All praise, praise Aloy, Aloy anointed, anointed of, of the, the Nora. Nora. All, All praise Aloy, Aloy no, no, anointed no, 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 of the Nora. Nora. Up. All, All praise Aloy, Aloy anointed, anointed of the Nora. Nora. First you shun me, now this? I will not be worshipped. I'm not your anointed. I don't belong to you. There's a whole world beyond your borders, whole tribes of people just as good as you. And it is all in danger. It's a world worth fighting for. Not just here, everywhere. How can we help? If you can fight, and you're willing, go to Meridian and wait for me there. As Aloy says, so it shall be. Nora, make way make for Aloy, way. that she may forge the path for others to follow. Dude, oh my goodness! Like, what a what a what a great speech, man! What a what a great way to 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 just to just 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 put it out there. All the XP is so girthy in this one. Broke the siege of our mother. Holy Medusa's man! Hold. No, no, stop it! Stop, stop it! <laughs> I was gonna say I'm I'm the one who created you. I am the creator. But no, we, we're just Aloy, man. We're still Aloy. Like I said, technically, technically, we are, we we are the the creator in a way. But no, we're we're just Aloy. Aloy and outcast. Destroy the corruption beyond the sacred land. Uh, I mean, yes, sort of. Oh, whoa! I never noticed that. The murderers tried to destroy us, but we Nora and Dor. They are the ones Alright guys, well, this is crazy man. Yeah, it's it's so weird how now they're just praising me like, oh, anointed. Anointed. I'm like, nah, stop it. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> stop it. Stop it. Oh my goodness, guys. Alright, well, we're going to continue on here. Going on to the mountain that fell. Go to the bitter climb. Now, I believe this might be that place where we found all those, all those stalkers, all those crazy machines. So we're going to head back there. It's gonna get pretty cray cray. 
You know, wait, I wonder... I didn't ask... Let me, you know what, let me go back to... I'd have to leave something else behind. Let me go back to one of the, one of the, um... What's it called? One of the, uh... What are these guys called? The, 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 Um... One of the old ladies, basically. I want to see if I have any options to talk to... To Ursa. Ursa, where are you? Is it her? No, this is Jessa. Tirsa, Tirsa, not Ursa. Aloy. How kind of you to spend a moment with me before you depart. There can be no doubt now. You are a blessing made flesh. The will of the goddess incarnate. It's really not that simple, Tirsa. But I guess it's close enough. <laughs> I know the path ahead will be dangerous. To kill a metal devil sounds impossible, but I believe in you. Uh, thank you. All right. Oh, yes! <gasps> oh my god, good thing I thought of this before we left. <laughs> the Nora have suffered terrible losses, Tirsa. What's to become of them now? That will be for the goddess to decide. Only she knows the future. For the moment, my sister matriarchs and I will see to the wounded. And as I promised, anyone who wishes to join you at Meridian, we will declare seekers. I think for the time being, we should remain here in the mountain, close to the goddess. Um, that might be best. If nothing else, it's a defensible position. Mm-hmm. These <laughs> we should really let them in there. Just so they can see that there is no god I mean sort of there is, but it's a it's a machine, it's a program, it's an AI, you know? There's no there's no goddess, you know, that's there's no will of the goddess. It's just you know, it's it's an AI that the that the old ones created for us, for us to survive. Anyways, let's find out about Rost. Tirsa. I want to know Rost's story. Why he was made an outcast. He never told me, said he took an oath of silence. What did he do? Oh, yes, that. What crime did he commit? I will tell you if you wish. But it is a long story. Are you sure you want to hear it now? Felicia, Felicia, Felicia. I've been waiting a long ass time. Speak now. Don't hold your peace. Of course I want to hear it. Tell me. Rost never committed any crime. He was an outcast by choice. What? What do you mean? Many years ago, before the derangement, before the Red Raids, a band of murderous outlanders, twelve in number, struck without warning. At Mother's Vigil they took hostages and then pressed on, headed for Devil's Thirst. Uh, okay. Mother's Vigil? Where's that? You would know it as the Forsaken Village, near the Karja border. But at the time, many families lived there. Ross was one of them. His mate was killed fighting the Outlanders, and his daughter was among those taken hostage. His daughter? What, what was her name? Alana. She was just six years old. What? Nora Braves couldn't stop 12 outlanders? Or rescue the hostages? It was quite impossible. We outnumbered them, but every time a Brave came within bowshot, the outlanders killed a hostage. What did they come here to do? That was never discovered. We couldn't track closely enough to observe them. We know they camped beyond Devil's Thirst for two days. There were reports of... strange noises. And then, as suddenly as they came, the Outlanders made their way back to the border and disappeared. Strange noises? That doesn't sound very good, guys. Strange noises... I, I don't like strange noises. What the fudge, man? What the fudge? What happened to Rost's daughter? She was...
killed. Rost was one of the braves who tracked the Outlanders, keeping his distance. There were six hostages still alive when they reached the border. Alana among them. Rather than release them, the Outlanders slit their throats and left the corpses just across the border, mocking us. Why? Cruelty. They knew the faithful Nora would not leave the sacred land to collect the bodies, let alone pursue them. They thought themselves safe from our vengeance. What? This is why you need to leave the lands. This is why you need to go past the border, man. What is up with the Nora? I mean, I know you have your beliefs and everything, but come on. Are you saying that Rost went after them? That he became an exile? No. Rost was beside himself with grief, but even so, he would never have broken taboo. Then what did he do? He called upon the most terrible and secret rite of the Nora tribe. He begged to be made a death seeker. What the fudge is it? I mean, that sounds really cool, but what the fudge is it? Is it cool? I don't know. A death seeker? What is that? One who dies to go seeking. And in seeking, brings death to others. The ritual drags the spirit from one's body, releasing it to all mother's care. The heart beats, the mind thinks, but the spirit has moved on. I, I don't understand. Rost went after the Outlanders, but his spirit never left. It remained here with all mother. He gathered the bodies of the slain and returned them. And then he set out in pursuit, not as an exile, but a weapon of vengeance. A barbed arrow shot from a bow, never to return. What the fuck? But Ross did return. Yes. A full year later. And terribly wounded. He collapsed at the border of the sacred land. A hunting party came upon him. He was delirious. In agony. By law, he should have died where he lay. But one of the hunters broke taboo. And reaching across the border, she dragged him to our side. Who was she? A brave who'd lost a mate and two sons to the very outlanders that Rost pursued. So Rost never finished his mission? To the contrary, he killed all twelve. Tracked them to disparate places the world over, he said. Meridian, Ban Ur, the Claim, Utaru Land, further even into the Forbidden West. The last he killed nearly got the best of him. Wounded, he stumbled and crawled back to us, hoping to die as close to the sacred land as he could. He never expected nor asked to be dragged across the border and nursed back to health. That was done to him. Leaving us, the matriarchs, in a difficult position. What the fudge? Why couldn't you just welcome him back? Rost had been made a death seeker, Aloy. He no longer had any place among the tribe. By law, he should have been driven back out. But we couldn't bring ourselves to do that, so we offered a compromise. You made him an outcast? Yes. We offered to do so on the condition he never speak to anyone of this exception after all he did all he suffered to be declared an outcast was his reward rost was overjoyed he never expected to live another day in the sacred land let alone the embrace so close to the goddess he resolved to spend the rest of his days in solitude and was happy to do so no no i mean i these Nora, man, look. I helped you out. 
All right, I helped you out. I killed that saw that sawtooth. The thunderjaw outside your gates. Enemy at the gates. You got some. You got some stupid ass laws, man. <laughs> you guys are. You guys are some dumb mother truckers. I. I just. I. I, I can't, man. I. I can't. I. If I could backhand this. I mean, maybe not her, but if if I could just backhand, just the the embodiment embodiment of their rules and their mindset. I would, man. I just. just <laughs> but then you found me, and gave me to him. Yes. Another compromise. The matriarchs feared you, and would not let you be raised by the tribe. And so we turned to Rost. I knew that he would take care of you, bring you up, teach you to worship all mother and respect the ways of the tribe. He certainly tried anyway. <laughs> you took a man who'd lost his daughter and made him raise an infant girl? Doesn't that strike you as callous? I'm inclined to think the course of events has shown the wisdom of our choice. And I'm quite certain that from the moment he laid eyes on you, he saw you as a gift and never a burden. All right, Tirza, that's, that's quite a story. Oh my goodness. You know, she does have a point. I was actually thinking about this before we even started, you know, before we even asked her, but the fact that they made us an outcast did bring us to Rost. It made us have this, you know, desire to find out where we came from. You know, I mean, I guess we could have found that anyways, but I think that desire, that push, to, to be, you know, of, of being an outcast, to get into the proving, to prove ourselves, to find out what happened, who we were, has brought us here to a degree. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's true. I still can't agree with all the things, the, the laws and the craziness that the Nora tribe had, you know, just the way they think, man, it just baffles me. I mean, the Karja, they have their crazy thoughts, but at least they know the world is bigger than just the sacred lands or their sacred lands whatever they consider that to be or their sun it's it's ridiculous but i mean i guess that is true rost may you rest in pepperoni sir may you rest in some delicious pepperonis it's time for me to move on i thank you for doing what you could to help me through the years and for telling me rost's story i wish i could have done more but I am just one woman. As am I. No need to sell ourselves short. Oh, thank you, Aloy. I will pray for you. Okay, I guess it can't hurt. <laughs> oh, that's pretty cute. All right. Well, Tirsa again. I, out of all, out of all the mayor tricks, Tirsa is definitely. It's definitely homo Stop it, stop it, piano. You're gonna make me cry. <laughs> All right. Okay, we're not. Okay, rush. Stop it. Shut up. He's just like, eh. All right, guys. Well, there we go. The story of Ross. Oh my goodness, man. Seriously, what is up with the piano? Do you want you do you want me to cry? Game? Is this what you're looking for? Is this what what tickles your fancy? A man, a sensual beast crying. I mean, that's fine. I'll cry. I cried. At the beginning of Up, in the middle of Up, and even at the end of Up, alright? I'm not ashamed. I'm just saying I gotta continue recording here. Me sorry, you just... <laughs> Boogers coming out of my nose. It's not the best for the video. Alright, guys. Well, I think with that story, we'll definitely end the episode here. We'll be heading into the mountain that fell. Pretty soon here, next episode, we're going to continue on our adventures. Right now, I believe we're in episode 59. Hopefully we're in 59. So chill. Ho uh, ho hoping that none of the videos that I've recorded have gone and had any problems with screen tearing. As far as I know, I think only one did, and that was because I was checking back on it, and it had some screen tearing problems. I think actually the worst I've ever seen in any of the recordings that I've done, which is usually frustrating, guys. You guys know how you guys have no idea how frustrating it is when that happens. But anyways, again, hopefully we're at episode 59, and uh, I've enjoyed every single episode of it, man. I know we're not at the end. But we have found out a lot of, you know, things that we've been searching for this whole game. And it's, uh, I love this game, man. It's so good. It's just so good. Hopefully you guys, you know, have enjoyed the game as much as I have. I can't wait for maybe a sequel. We don't know how the story ends yet. Maybe some DLC. But it's, again, it's almost a bittersweet kind of thing 
coming towards the end of this game, you know. It's just so good. It's really, really, really good, man. I've, I've been loving the story, the characters, Aloy is such a good protagonist. Everything's just so good. Anyways, with that, hopefully you guys enjoy. If you did, make sure to go ahead and spank the like button. Leave your comments below. Let me know if you guys feel the same way about the game. You know, it's... I don't know, man. For me, I think it's... Again, it's, it's definitely in the top five favorite games of the year for me. And, and that's... That's not even knowing what else is gonna come out this year. I'm over. I've already have my mindset on it. It might even. It might even beat like top three. Honestly, it's that's how much I've enjoyed this game. Anyways, if you guys want to check out more Horizon Zero Dawn, check out the Horizon Zero Dawn playlist and reviews in the channel. All links to those things will be in the description at the end of the video, and also a little icon for emojis. It's a very juicy, delicious, snowy kind of day.